Trump does not rule out Putin's involvement in Navalny's death. Donald Trump, one of the main contenders for US president, has suggested that Russian President Vladimir Putin might have played a role in the death of opposition leader Alexei Navalny, according to Politico. Asked in an interview with Fox News whether Putin was responsible for Navalny's death, Trump said, I don't know, but perhaps, I mean possibly, I could say probably, I don't know. He's a young man, so, statistically, he'd be alive for a long time. So, something happened that was unusual, Trump added. In the same interview, the former US president and likely Republican presidential candidate evaded the question of whether he would continue to provide weapons to Ukraine or allow Putin to occupy part or all of Ukraine if elected president again. I hope it doesn't come to that, Trump said, reiterating that the war never would have happened if he had been president. After Navalny died last month, Trump's first comments compared the jailed opposition leader's experience to his own legal situation, calling a civil suit against him a form of Navalny. These comments were thoroughly criticized by both Democrats and Republicans, with former Speaker Nancy Pelosi calling him beneath the dignity of a human being. You wonder, what does Putin have on Donald Trump that he always has to be beholden to him? His buddy in vileness? Pelosi said, it is so horrible, you think? No, somebody must have made this up. Not even Donald Trump could go this far, she continued. This statement should disqualify him from running for anything, much less President of the United States. Earlier, EU foreign ministers agreed on sanctions against Russia in connection with the death of opposition leader Alexei Navalny. In February, eight EU member states wrote to Josep Borrell calling for Russian prosecutors, judges and prison officials to be sanctioned over Navalny's death. On the 23rd of February, the US Department of State announced sanctions against three Russians who were involved in Navalny's torture. NATO troops are already in Ukraine for arms control. NATO troops are already in Ukraine for arms control, intelligence operations and training, according to El País. The agency has interviewed many military sources from Ukraine and the EU over more than two years of war, and they all agree that no NATO army has taken part in ground combat. But they also agree that they have informants on the ground who provide information about the situation on the front line, determine the effectiveness of the weapons being supplied and possible problems in their use, and identify possible cases of corruption in the delivery of aid. Some of these official informants are retired foreign military personnel who volunteer to fight in the Ukrainian armed forces. At least two sources, one American and one Ukrainian, claim that Washington is particularly active in monitoring their assistance, organizing missions between its embassy and the Ukrainian authorities, as well as visiting them outside official channels. The alliance's military is not directly involved in combat operations in Ukraine, the paper asserted. It also mentioned Polish Foreign Minister Radislav Sikorski, who told a conference in Warsaw that NATO soldiers are already present in Ukraine, but, as compared to other politicians, he would not specify the countries that they had come from. The Polish Foreign Minister statement, as the paper said, could be seen as criticism of German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who said in late February that British and French forces were present in Ukraine. Retired foreign servicemen fighting on Ukraine's side allegedly on a voluntary basis are among unofficial informants. Besides, two sources told the paper that Washington was controlling its aid especially actively. French President Emmanuel Macron said after a French meeting on February the 26th that representatives of about 20 Western states had discussed further support to Kiev in the conflict with Moscow and raised the issue of potentially sending troops to Ukraine. He said that participants in the discussion had reached no consensus on this issue, but this scenario could not be ruled out in the future. Later, Macron explained that not ruling something out does not mean doing it. As Russian President Vladimir Putin stressed, Russia is aware of the presence of NATO forces in Ukraine, where they are perishing in large numbers. Images of Chechen volunteers entering the Belgorod region of Russia together with the Free Russian Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps, and the Siberian Battalion have been released from the Gorkovsky settlement of the region. Chechen fighters ironically say that they came to participate in the presidential elections held in Russia, 
but they could not find a polling station for it. The fighters said that the settlement was completely deserted, abandoned by residents and Russian soldiers, and that the traitorous Chechens fighting in the Russian army did not resist them either. It should be noted that the Legion of Free Russia announced that on March 17, together with Chechen volunteers, they had taken full control of the residential area and released footage from the area.